Hey everybody, on today's episode we're reviewing this portable LCD display from WiMaxit. Now this is a 7 inch touchscreen monitor. As you can see, uh, this is what you would call a naked monitor, no cover on the back. This is because it allows you to attach the Raspberry Pi on the center back. And for those who know, yeah, you can then customize it uh, and be more flexible and also attach it to other displays. But people buy this because it is portable and because it is a touch screen display. Now, personally, I've used this as an extra monitor to my laptop to extend further the display in two different tabs. So while I'm working on my main screen, say I'm video editing, I can also still, still keep up with uh, watching something else, maybe a basketball game or a football game. So basically, in this video, I'm reviewing this as a portable monitor. All right, so we'll start first. Uh, this is the box. We'll start first unpacking and see what comes in the box with it, then we'll look at the port and then we'll continue with the rest of the review. So first with the package, by the way it shipped really fast. So right opening the box we look immediately at the portable monitor from its rear side and just underneath it we find a microfiber cloth for keeping clean the screen. Then we find the manual, which by the way was very helpful and explains stuff in details. So following it you will know what you're doing. And right at the bottom of the box we get the cables and other dongles. Now the most important cables for this video though are these two. This is the HDMI that feeds image from our computer to our portable display. And this other cable, this is the USB micro to USB type A for powering up the device. These other dongles that you see serve when you attach the Raspberry Pi onto this monitor. And we also get the legs, yeah, so that we can uh, let our portable monitor to stand on its own. And yes, we also get the speakers, which I couldn't resist but attach them Im immediately. Very easy to do, but uh, also very fun. We'll come later to check speaker's quality, but if you're in a run, the speakers sound great. I was really impressed. As you, as you can see from the video, this portable monitor requires some um, do-it-yourself skills, and honestly, I do give kudos for that. Now let's have a look at the screen. So this is a 7-inch touchscreen uh, tempered in an IPS panel, and this panel is hardened at a 6 age level for being scratch-resistant at a good point and it really feels solid, strong and, uh, you know, durable. Now this has a resolution of uh, 1024 by 600 and picture quality is decent. Touch is very responsive, you get multi-touch technology, you can use up to five fingers simultaneously on the screen and, you know, that's great. Uh, and the best part is that the touch response is very smooth, so experience is great. Now, colors of the screen, well, you can judge them at yourself, they're normal, here's the same video in different devices, so yeah. Now, the brightness. The brightness needs is not specified anywhere, but this monitor, while looks good in those, it won't be a great um, source for outdoor use. So, besides the fact that you can attach a Raspberry Pi on this, you can use this as a portable monitor, as we have been talking till now. And yeah, I'm going to start from the left. So on the left we find this side wheel, which uh, gives us access to volume and brightness. With a simple press uh, on the wheel, you can toggle between volume and brightness. Right below it, we find uh, a classic 3.5 mm audio jack, so you can listen through your headphones if you want to. Now jumping on the right side, we find this HDMI port that fits image to the display and then we see these two micro USB ports that power up the device. Now, the only difference between these two ports is the touch capability on this one. So you can choose the one that uh, you find more appropriate to you. Now, let's see how this works. So practically this is a plug and play device. So I'm going to attach the uh, HDMI cable and also I'm going to attach the micro USB cable. I'm going to attach it to the touch uh, port so that we can also have uh, some touch capability and yeah it's uh, already connected to my laptop so I'm going to drag this window and open it to the other screen right and right now I'm, I can also use the touch so I can just uh, open up the screen and I can press play 
the volume is right here. So right now is uh, the volume is set as zero, but I'm I'm going to give you a sample and. Yeah, the volume is at max. So as you saw, uh, this is just a plug and play uh, device. It works very smooth. You can connect it with your laptop, your PC, your TV, or your console. Now touch capability will only work on Windows laptops, not Macs. With Apple, the touch port will only give power to the device and nothing else. But with my Windows 11, it works perfectly. And as I said earlier, is really smooth. Now I'm going to test the brightness. So right now I'm going to toggle on this uh, wheelbar. So right now the brightness is set at 100. I'm going to lower it down to zero. Okay, lowering it down. And right now I'm going to turn the brightness up again to 100%. So I'm going to uh, turn up the volume. This is um, 80%. 100% volume, this is max. Both speakers working very nicely. Now I want to take a moment to mention this quick release plate, uh, which I got in the same time with this monitor. I've been using this lately and it has been a lifesaver to me. This is the QL33 from Andesign. And it is a great, it is very solid, it uses aluminum alloy and stainless steel materials to make it very solid at looking, but also at its build quality. Now, personally, I use this uh, when I need to attach my camera on hard places, like uh, this one that you're watching on the video. And as you can tell, um, it is really a time saver. It comes with two screws, so you can also screw from the top if you want to mount it somewhere. And yeah, um, you also get two Allen wrenches so that, uh, yeah, you'll get very flexible with this uh, quick release plate. So it's small, it's light, uh, it's a must-have tool, at least for me. So you can adapt it to your uh, workflow in your own style. And yeah, if you need one, just take one. And back to this portable monitor. So I guess we did a nice walkthrough till now. This is a multifunctional monitor. It is described as an all-in-one Raspberry Pi monitor. Therefore, you can choose to use this uh, for the thing you want. I myself, as I told before, been using it to extend my uh, display while working on several tasks and I want to keep um, catching with another thing. Experience has been great. What you see is what you get. Uh, as I said, this is a plug and play device. Very easy. Touch capability is great. You can pause the video. You can play the video. Everything works very smooth. Now, any downsides? Yeah, there's, there's two, I would say. I would mention the low brightness and the legs. Legs do help to stand, yes, but uh, if you're taking it with you, the legs need to get unscrewed, and this is a hassle. So, legs that close in would be a smarter solution, in my opinion. But this is what you get. Now, about the price, this portable monitor retails right now for $89 in their official website. Uh, and it's actually on sale right now. Check links below for updated pricing. And yeah, to sum it up, um, this for me has been a great little monitor as a second display. I really love the fact that while I'm engaged with something on my main screen, I can still keep an eye on the football game. I would actually love a bigger screen, to be honest, for maybe using it while I do video editing and work with the colors, but yeah. The fact that it is touchscreen, yeah, makes it more compelling and without forgetting the sound. I love the sound that comes off of these speakers. But they're nervous. Clear and loud. So yeah, uh, this will do it guys. Uh, I really hope you found this video helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. If you do have any questions, please write them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. I'm Henry. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.